something hey I know you're hiding something Mario <laughs> no I'm not hiding anything it, it what 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 American but he's a trust <laughs> my god what the bags on the wall no problem at the I think I'm looking for her her desk if she had the secret she would keep it somewhere around here I opened the Matryoshka, there was a smaller one inside. Don't you like do more? I got it! I found it! This must be the key to solving the mystery! <laughs> Good work, Date. <laughs> now you only need to find the giant keyhole. <laughs> Kick. It's the same Christmas tree as usual. I can't find any clues. Have you always been down here? Maybe you've overheard some of the boss's secrets. <laughs> I'll answer. I'm just sort of keeping quiet then. Maybe I'll sync with you. <laughs> Date, if you don't take this more seriously, I will end you. <laughs> Amazing. I'm amazed that this thing actually kind of spoke, I guess. I don't know. The hint is the Tanuki statue. It must be a cryptogram. Some kind of wordplay hint. What? Well, what is the hint? How can I have the Thunder Castle in three minutes? Maybe she was a fisherman in a past life. Why would that matter? <laughs> uh, so far, restaurant store curtain. What are the clue? Uh, the bookshop, maybe. No, I don't see anything that could be cool. Pumpkin is probably not cool. Fine. Happy birthday. No relation to the case. Maybe if you get a high score, you get a clue. Do you really think that is the case? This isn't an escape room. <laughs> it's actually funny because, like, in Zero Escape, uh, Zero Time Dilemma, there was. Uh, wait, was it? No, it was uh, Virtual's last year board. There was a uh, puzzle with the dots thing. Maybe the posters. No, no clues there. There's no board. No less the post secret. Look, Date! Handsome young men! <laughs> Why are you getting excited? There are no clues on the poster. I didn't think there are any secrets on the map. The public bad door curtain, probably not a clue. Okay, here we go. Iba, can you hack this PC? I will try. Unlocked. Well done. Logging in. I have recovered some video data. It was uploaded only a few hours ago. Open it. That is... Oh, Jesus. So Sejima. Bruh. Why? Why? Awesome. 
The case remains unsolved. Wait, is it? Oh, that's a Israeli ending. Okay, I see. Well then. Okay. Well, now we know who killed uh, Soul, at least in that timeline. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? Oh, locked. So I need something to... It's locked to proceed, you must play through more through... Okay, so it's similar to like... Yeah, okay. So it is similar to... Uh, Zero Escape series in the way that you have to go through different timelines to unlock different things. I'm here, no I'm not. Well, I am, but like... I don't think there's anything here that I can do. in the vein. Okay, hold on. I guess I could, yeah, this is the first, or like the closest branch, I suppose. Well, now I have to change the title again, I guess. Kick. Or I guess that wasn't really an ending yet, so I don't need to. <laughs> okay, so there's something different here. Let's go do it, I guess. So this time something to do with the windows. We don't want to interact with the television. Anything else but the television, basically. Is what we want to do. A double door. Can we open it? No. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about. Okay. Then. Can I? A seal. If I hit this. Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so. <laughs> So that did some okay. Oh jeez. What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. Bruh. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. Is it real? It appears that way. <clears throat> oh, jeez. It is fixed with oh. a vice and cannot move. Well then, can you loosen it? Impossible. Is there some kind of meaning to it? Well, <laughs> shit. A double. Okay, I can't think I'd do anything with that. I see many objects in the room. Okay then, sure. 
The explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. up a frog. <laughs> it appears to be a butterfly reference book with pictures. That will be difficult with it being this thick. That is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. What the shit? Stab it. What do I stab? That child's voice is creepy. Mm -hmm. And hearing that laugh in this situation, it is unusual. Okay, so not that. You have one minute left. A common gas canister. For a while. Don't give up. I believe in you. I believe that you are more of a sadist than you let on. <laughs> okay, let's try open it. Common anything. gas. Data, you've got less than 30 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. I should have done the one sixth and not the twenty seconds. <sighs> okay, can't <sighs> open it. If you can't, then. It is meant to be closed. I think so. A common. Time's up! Well, smelling it doesn't really do anything, but okay. Well, what? <laughs> the smell tingles, like sweet and sour. A ketone. Perhaps acetone? Acetone? Acet? Some relation to Iris? I cannot determine that with the evidence we have. More than likely, it is coincidence. Well then. Date, we're out of damn. Yes. Uh, once again, we need to withdraw. Should probably go for the first look, but oh well. Turn just a bit. I think they're in this school. It book. appears to be a butterfly wreck. That will be. I think this was the correct thing to write. Maybe. Question mark. The butterfly effect. I suppose that is somewhat accurate. The more you do, the less time you have. But we have no choice but to investigate further. Right. An operating tape. A full body.
just a locker. I wonder what happens if we open this now. That was close. If this were the Delta Princess, I would have been stabbed. Why was it booby trapped? I do not see anything else inside. Would you like me to examine the knife? Good idea. Okay. You have one minute left. The knife that flew out of the locker. Pushed in any okay. further. Well, the knife that flew out of the lock. <laughs> oh my god. Do you wish for me to die? No, I do not. But why must I commit seppuku? In this foreign land, I believed it to be the only course of action. I refuse. Do you wish to speak a haiku in your final breath? Your samurai impression is ridiculous <laughs> and inaccurate. Stop that! Is this Somnium starting to get to you, Date? I'm my usual self. That's the problem. But in any case, I will not do it. Well, fuck. The knife that flew out of the lock? Like this? <laughs> what? I only threw it lightly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, we don't really have any time anymore, but okay. An oil drum, television, and torso. I think I understand. I'm starting to see the picture. I do not yet understand it. Also, I should probably. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. Where the fuck are we gonna get the bullet? Date, we're out. Damn! What the hell? Okay. Ugh. Fourteen seconds is kind of a sketchy amount, but time's up. An oil drop. Well, I don't really have time for anything. So whatever, let's just do this, I guess. Well, this was useful. What does this mean? Bullets? Well, okay, now they might we know. be used for something. Let's keep them. Date, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is Okay. Let's just restart the Somnium.
should probably use the time meter, but I forgot to. Can we use the bullets we found earlier? This could work. I'll try shooting it. Three hours a acquired. Okay. Okay. Day three someday. Rich AI. <sighs> What happened during that Somnium? We saw the whole thing on the monitor. But we're just as confused as you are. Well, upon further reflection, it is not so strange. Dreams are developed outside of our conscious will. When you sink into Somnium, there is no guarantee of what you will discover. What about the figure? Could have been Iris herself. That is a possibility. The sinker sees the subject's dream from the third person. That means that Iris... She must have met So Sejima somewhere. We did see Congressman Sejima in there. We saw that shadow kiss him, too. Did that happen in reality? Not necessarily. I'm sure you've had dreams of kissing celebrities and porn stars, right? The first part, yes, but the second part, no. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. A dream is not made up entirely of memories. It can include things outside of your memory, like TV or movies. Even if the figure was supposed to be Iris, her smooch insomnium does not necessarily reflect her actions in reality. <laughs> you can't use the word smooch. <laughs> Why not? So we don't know if Iris and So are acquainted. That's right. Because So is a celebrity of sorts. It's possible she just saw him on TV or online. We were silent for a time. While I was deep in my thoughts, I heard Peter speak. Date. Iris is about to wake up. Got it. I gave myself my short reply and headed to the sink room next to the door. Put 
putting me to sleep when I wasn't expecting it? You cops are more rough than I thought. You signed a consent form before you came in here, didn't you? You forced me to sign it. <laughs> anyway, Iris, I have some things I want to ask you. What? Dream? Mm. What are you talking about? The subject of the sink does yeah. not experience Somnium as you do. Iris would not know about it. Yeah, I know his name and face. I've never met him. You haven't? I'm just an internet idol. It's not like I have connections to politicians or anything. Iris, let me ask one thing. The message Ota sent you on Nile. I won't tell anyone about that thing. Hmm. What is that thing? I don't know. Ota's the one who wrote that. You should ask him. Iba, Ota's phone is still broken, right? But he definitely sent that Nile message. Ota purchased a new phone in Akihabara yesterday. With the same number? Yes. Call it. Okay. Connected. Hey, it's Kaname Date. Where are you? Ota, I know you can hear me. At home. I'm at home. Got it. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Is Tessa still at the police station? Yes. If you want me to talk, release her. Criminal procedure law number 198. Shh. Persons may refuse to heed a summons or leave the supervision of the police at any time unless they are arrested or detained. Tessa isn't a suspect. According to Article 223, this applies to all persons of interest. You haven't issued an arrest warrant for Tessa, right? So if you don't release her right now, you are violating the law. <sighs> Damn. Do we have a deal? You want my testimony, right? Bring Tessa here, and I promise I'll tell you everything I know. This kid is starting to get on my nerves. So, what are you going to do? Shit. I'm okay. Normal, I guess. Why? Did you do something that would make me sick? I just took a peek inside your head is all. Inside my head? Iris, come with me. We're going to Matsushita Diner. Were you talking to Ota? Yeah, telepathically. <laughs> I have special powers. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Tessa! Thank you, Ota. It's thanks to you. That's right. It's not like you can do whatever you want just because you're the police. Maybe not. But you better keep your promise. I was nervous thinking about Tessa. I couldn't stop imagining what dirty, perverted dojin plots you were acting out with her. As long as I am in your eye socket, that won't happen. Wouldn't happen anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, I did. Yesterday in Akihabara. She's in the living room in the back. I think she's watching TV or something. Okay. Did you come all the way here just to ask me that? <laughs> So let's hear it. What is that thing? That thing? Don't play dumb. You sent that message to Iris. Oh, um... Date, 
will you do me a favor? What? There's a picture on the counter, right? Yeah, and? I want you to take a good look at it. No, not the again. Photo. Yes. Not, not again. The Fuck photo. Off. Not again. Not again. A different way this time. My God, why? Well, this time I buy taxi active still because they from Monday. You die, you die. Because uh, it wasn't the sun gun. So there's that. Uh, head is pounding. What time is it? The day has turned over. It is Monday, 2.50 a.m. You've been unconscious for nearly five hours. Ota got me, didn't he? He did. He struck you over the head with the walk. Ah, <sighs> little bastard. Why did he do that? I don't know, but afterward he ran off with Iris. How do you know? You had lost consciousness, but I was still watching. I recorded video of the incident. Take a look. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car! You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! What the hell? Tessa! What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Okay, let's go. Why didn't you chase them? I'm sorry? You should have jumped out of my eye and ran after them. I couldn't move. The mechanics controlling my ambulatory motion were short-circuited by the blow to your head. Hello, <sighs> oh, boss. I got it. Bit convenient. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. So it's a repeat! Fuck's sake, dude. Okay. Iris. So it doesn't matter which one we do there. Regardless, this happens, I guess. Okay. Makes sense, I suppose. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iva, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Do, do, do. Okiura? Do, do, do. Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Do, do, do. And we'll be too late, unless it's a different path and therefore different result, but... I doubt it. Get my food to the gas the whole time. I can feel the sweat on my palms. The engine raised a hybrid scream. I could barely hear it. Yes, same thing. My heartbeat was pounding in my ear, taking me to the core. How much time had passed? The feeling of time itself had disappeared. Eventually, the car reached a long bridge. Shortly after, the image changed. That sick bastard! 
bastard. Let me make it in time. But you won't. Unless it's different, which I doubt, but... I mean, it didn't show the thing that I showed the last time, so... Okay, it's fine this time, I guess, okay. That's nice. You okay? Date. Where did they go? Through the back door. Just hang on, Ota. Help is on the way. Don't worry. Iris is alive. Well, maybe you should still... Backup is en route to this location. Oh my god. Date, pursue the culprit. All right, I'm on it. Okay. How did we make it this fa make it there this fast this time and not the last? Oh my what? I'm confused. But okay. Any traces of the culprit? Still nothing. We also didn't catch the culprit on any of the surveillance cameras. They probably got away through the back alley. While wearing a polar bear costume. <laughs> Maybe they took it off and threw it in the ocean. If it were filled with something uh. heavy, it would sink to the bottom. Well done. They were taken to Central Hospital. Ota's surgery went well. He's in treatment now. He's stable, nothing life-threatening. Iris, though. Is she still in surgery? Yeah. Iris's left eye was forcibly removed. Because the optic nerve is connected to the brain, the surgery will take some time to complete. Of course. Hitomi is at the hospital, waiting for the surgery to finish. And Mayumi? She was at the hospital earlier, waiting for Ota to get out. I think she went back home to get some clothes and things for Ota's hospital stay. Date, last night, Mayumi left the diner to chase after Iris and Ota. Perhaps she knows something. Yeah, she might. Let's listen to Mayumi's story. You should ask Iva about that. Yes, I have already done some research. Okiara Fishery is owned by the Okiara we know. Renju's father created the company. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiara Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. The company has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other persons. So it's a coincidence the criminal chose that location? Unknown. They're giving statements at HQ right now. The line is pretty long. You could just talk to Mizuki. Right. She's part of the Okiura family, too. Oh, speaking of... Hey, boss. 
Did you end up sending anyone to take care of Mizuki yesterday? Jeez, you're finally getting around to asking that? <laughs> yes, she's fine. I had one of our new recruits take her. She took her back to your house, so Mizuki should still be there. So Mizuki's at home. And I'm fairly certain she's furious <laughs> with you. After leaving her alone with Mama, I mean. Oh wait, yeah, that happened. It's then. still ongoing, but they haven't found anything of note yet. Date, Aiba, go to the warehouse again and investigate. You two might be able to find some useful clues. So, Sejima? He was in Iris' Somnium yesterday. Right. But Iris says she's never met him. Why not ask So about it? So lives in Azabu, right? I guess I could. Alright, boss. I'm going to investigate all this. Got it. We're counting on you. Let's go, Iva. Roger that. Two cars. These cars have been parked here since before 3.17 a.m. One van and one station wagon. Who owns the van? The Matsushita family. It appears as though it was used for transporting ingredients and supplies. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. Ota's fingerprints were found on the steering wheel and gear shift. Iris's fingerprints were found around the passenger seat. Those were the only prints recently made. This station wagon is a stolen car. Stolen? Last night, the owner of the vehicle reported it stolen. Oh. It was stolen at 10.33 p.m. yesterday. The theft occurred in Fuchu, Tokyo, in the parking lot of Famisto, a convenience store along Koshu Highway. The Famisto parking lot, huh? The car was stolen while the owner was shopping inside the store. The vehicle's engine was on. The doors might have even been unlocked, which would have made the theft easy for the culprit. Police officer, I see him over there. He's about to be no progress. Was there anything else found inside the car? There was one thing. What was it? Ota's cell phone. The one he purchased two days ago in Akihabara. It slid under the driver's seat. Where's the phone now? Its data is being inspected and evaluated. Oh my god. Oh, 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 my god. There is no doubt that it was Ota. The stream well, of the polar bear started around 3 a.m. Appendings and Alice. Correct. Collected 100 appendix files. Okay. About 10 minutes later, Ota appeared on screen. Ota stole the car at 10.33 p.m. That makes four and a half hours until he appeared on screen. I cannot find anything in the vicinity that could be a clue. Me either. Let's check inside the warehouse.
Wow, it's cold in here. The air conditioners have stopped. However, the insulation in the walls has kept the room temperature close to what it was this morning. I should finish this investigation before I freeze to death. Well then, you had better get started. A video camera and laptop. This is what the criminal used to stream. All of these items have been bought from pawn shops and thrift stores. It would be difficult to determine a suspect from them. I have logged into the Wi-Fi in this warehouse. Okiura Fishery Co. Ltd. is listed as the owner. However, I found the password written directly on the router. Anyone who saw it could have used it. That machine is used to cut ice. We have gathered testimony from the workers regarding it. This has always been in the warehouse, so the suspect did not bring it here. Any fingerprints? Nothing. No fingerprints have been found at the scene at all. This entire warehouse is clean. I see. Three a.m. this morning. Iris was lying right here. If Ota hadn't come to save her. It would have been too late. Gosh, you saw what Ben Saris was lying on. Funny it goes here. I checked this place point by point. Same dialogues. Yeah, some engineer from NRIPS created a jacket lined with heating wires. That keeps me warm. Nice, right? All the cops and inspectors nice. around here are wearing them. Realize there must be all this blood. That's where I was stepped and went down. Uh, no, nothing so far. No, unfortunately, I live alone. With a job like this, I don't really get the chance to meet new people. Once this case is wrapped up, how about you and I go to a cabaret club together? <laughs> hey, now you're talking. You're buying, right? Sure, I'll expense it. I recorded that conversation. <laughs> I will be sending it to the boss later. <laughs> uh, on second thought, uh, why don't we split it? Aw, lame. <laughs> yeah, wish it were under better circumstances. Too bad you're not a girl. This could be the start of something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thinking the same thing. Good one, Dante. <laughs> Have I asked you before? Uh, yeah. Wait, give me a second. It's coming back to me. It has something to do with glass? <laughs> Where are you getting this from? I have a pretty unique name. Do you remember now? Yeah, I think I've got it. It was three syllables. Something like... Oh, six letters long. You remember all that, but not my name? <laughs> you still don't know. No, not yet, but I've almost got it. Three syllables, six letters. Kodaka, right? Not even close. <laughs> Do you want me to just tell you? No, no, g give me a hint. It starts with Ka. Starts with Ka, three syllables, six letters. You're making this sound like a riddle. Um, is it Kaniza? Yeah, sure, man. That's my name. <laughs> His name is Kaniza. <laughs> Platform needs to. Is it gonna slide? Is it gonna? That's my friend. <laughs> Except it's not. It's Kakami. <laughs> Isn't it? There are 
only a few items on the shelf. Is this warehouse not in use? Maybe it's on the shelf. Forklift, don't see any special about it. The tires of the forklift are clearly frozen to the ground. It hasn't been moved in a long time. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. Am I supposed to do? So winning is best on terms of shocks below or tear. Square huh. object. There's something there. You should go pick it up. Huh. I recognize this. An Odoroki Man chocolate. You've been collecting them for three years. Each chocolate contains a special sticker inside. Years ago, you started buying them for Mizuki, but eventually, you got hooked on them. Even after Mizuki lost interest, you kept buying them. That's a bittersweet memory. The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why is this here? Perhaps we can use it as a clue. Let's investigate further. <sighs> oh, it's freezing. Date, we're at our limit. We've examined everything of interest here. Let's go elsewhere. I agree. you be? It's me, Konami Date. We met yesterday. I gave you my card. Oh. So how can I help you? Packing? What are you talking about? I thought you came here to pack some of Ota's things for his hospital stay. Ota? At the hospital? Oh, my denial. Best fine. <laughs> you shouldn't say things like that to a mother. Oh, this? As I spoke, she turned the photo toward me. This is a family photo from when Ota was still small. I wanted to look at it again. <sighs> I'm a horrible mother. I've always caused trouble for my husband and Ota. They've helped me so many times. I am such a burden. But they were always smiling. They were so kind. I remember a gift they gave me one Mother's Day. They knew how much I liked floral patterns. So they gave me this apron and a kitchen knife. Oh, I was so happy. I was crying and smiling, and that's what this photo is from. It's kind of embarrassing, but isn't it such a nice photo? Yes, that's very nice, Mayumi. <laughs> oh, who knows? Date, I did some research on her husband, Ota's father. His name is Matsushita Takaro. He died of myocardial infarction five years ago. Oh. What? What is going on here? Last night? What time? Before 10 p.m. Oh, I was already asleep by 10. You were sleeping? That can't be. We left the diner to chase after Ota and Iris. 
I saw the whole thing with my own left eye. Left eye? <laughs> Not both your eyes? Uh, well... Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go anywhere last night. I was asleep. I was dreaming. Dreaming? Yes. A very nostalgic dream. It was when my son had just started elementary school. I had Oda run an errand for me. And he was taking so long, and I was waiting. My husband said it was nothing to worry about, but I couldn't take it anymore and went to look for him. I found him at a traffic signal, crying. He said he couldn't come home because the signal was still red. But it was one of those crossing signals you have to push. <laughs> that boy didn't even notice it. He just stood in front of that red light. So stubborn. So stupidly honest. Ah, that's my Oda. He was so cute. I couldn't help it. Date. I noticed something. Can you look at Mayumi with the thermal imaging turned on? Do you see it? Part of her brain is blue. That might be due to low blood flow in that part of the brain. Oh. Which means... Mayumi has an illness. I have checked her hospital records. For the past six years, Mayumi has been suffering from dementia. Dementia? Symptoms vary considerably, but Mayumi appears to be afflicted by memory loss. She seems to be missing memories. I see. So that's where those weird comments were coming from. Can she run a diner like that? It isn't running. What do you mean? Matsushita Diner has been closed for eight years. Matsushita Diner is near the Kabasaki District. It is not technically within the restricted area. However, after the chemical plant explosion, the number of potential customers must have dropped considerably. Before the accident, this diner managed quite well due to its proximity to Bloom Park. Patrons from Bloom Park would often eat here, being the cheaper option. But Bloom Park closed eight years ago. The customers stopped coming, and then, naturally, Does Mayumi not notice that the store is closed? I do not think so. Because of the dementia? Yes. Oh man. I can't believe it. Well, is that all? I have to start preparing for the dinner shift. My name is Thuda, went to the kitchen. That's sad. Date, let's go. It's better that you leave things be. You're right. How did you get in? Hopped over the fence. <laughs> That's trespassing, you know. My baseball landed in your backyard. I was just trying to get it back. <laughs> oh my god. I don't. Who is that? I showed him the picture of flowers I had. This girl. Do you recall seeing her? No, I've never seen her. I detect no noticeable rise in So's body temperature. This guy's a politician. Lying is his job. Well, true. Hmm. 
Here, sleeping, of course. Why? What happened? Did you not see the news? No, I've been reading a book. I don't know what happened, but whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. I told you yesterday. My relationship with them is perfectly legitimate. Hey, Iba. You were still in the middle of the story about So selling and buying the Kawasaki land. Oh, we can continue that later. Such being the guy in the pond. Congressman Sajima was at home all Friday and Saturday. How about from last night until this morning? He was in his bedroom, resting. Can you prove that? My word should be enough. Iba, are there any security cameras in the mansion? There are several. But for some reason, they are all powered off. Okay. There's no image data for the past few days. Really? That's too suspicious to ignore. Are you finished here? I'm just getting started. You won't get anything, no matter what you ask. So, Sejima has nothing to do with your case. It's my job to decide that, not yours. <sighs> okay. I didn't want to get rough. But if I need to, I'll feed you to the coin. Oh, fuck. I'd like to see you try. Date, he's not all talk. <laughs> what? Check his body. Oh, jeez. This guy has a handgun. It is, of course, real and loaded. So you're carrying, huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't act dumb. I should have you arrested for firearm violation. I don't know what you're talking about. The gun you have on you. I don't have a gun. I know that you do. <laughs> you got a way to prove it? I could search you. Oh yeah? How? You need a warrant for that. <sighs> <laughs> are you finished? If you are done here, I'd like to ask you to leave. Date, I don't believe we can accomplish anything further here. It's better for us to return to HQ. This is why I hate politicians. <laughs> yeah. Can I talk to you still? No, I can't. Okay. Oops. Wrong button. Okay. Uh. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris' surgery was successful. They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders and I just collapsed. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. She... Iris lost her left eye. They haven't found it yet. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. <sighs> but I'm thankful she's alive. When I was young, I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I... I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. That must have been very painful. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Hitomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. The police came and picked me up around 4 a.m. That's when I heard about all this. 
Her testimony matches what was in the investigation material. The cops came to pick her up around 4? Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? 20 to 25 minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around 3.15? Correct. If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? Not necessarily, but... My god. I am so thankful for Oda. No, words don't even do it justice. Ota saved Iris, didn't he? I heard the police talking about it. If Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night, Iris would be dead. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that there isn't a bigger word for thank you. Oda was actually one of my students. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. His mother must have raised him well. So, Sejima? The politician? Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Okay. Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. Hey, Mizuki, could you take a break? I want to ask you something. What? Listen, I get it. I'm really sorry, Mizuki. Yesterday, I went to meet up with the Yakuza gang. The Kumakuras. Remember Mama said Renju had some connection with them? So I went to question them. But of course, I couldn't take a little girl with me. You understand, right? I'm not afraid of any Yakuza's. I'd make their hearts stop beating in three seconds. Girls shouldn't talk like that. That's awfully sexist of you. This is why no one thinks you're attractive. I'm attractive? Uh-huh, keep telling yourself that. That's why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years. My girlfriend is a ninja. No, she's just hiding in the shadows. Sure. So what do you want to ask me anyway? Oh, man. Okira Fishery is a company Grandpa made. I don't think Daddy had anything to do with it, though. Grandpa died 17 years ago. Someone else is running that company now. They aren't family. I never met him. He died before I was born. But Daddy did tell me stories. What kind of stories? Back when Grandpa was in Great Grandma's tummy, she was on a passenger ship that got shipwrecked in a storm. She had to have the baby out on the ocean. On the ocean? Yep. And then, Grandpa was raised by dolphins. <laughs> huh? <laughs> by the time he was ten, he was catching fish with his bare hands. And then, Grandpa got up on land and learned language and culture and stuff. And then he decided to start up Okiura Fishing. Sounds like a tall tale. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa was a legend. All the fishermen and sailors respected him. It can't be true. <laughs> but that's a part of me that's thinking of me. 
After all, Misaki herself seems superhuman. True enough. I believe her grandpa was an incredible man. Where's the officer who dropped you off? I told her to go home. I said I would call her to check in. Okay. Why are you disappointed? Did you want to meet her? It's not like that. You wanted to see her boobs? <laughs> I thought you were more into small boobs, pervert. I like big boobs too. <laughs> I suppose you are what they call a tit man. <laughs> I saw the video. The one at 3 a.m. last night. Ota is amazing. I'm changing my mind about that guy. Iris and Ota came out of it okay. They'll both live. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Thank God. I guess we're going now. Okay. Thanks for talking with me, Mizuki. It was helpful. Was it? <laughs> I have to continue the investigation, so... Wait, you're leaving me again? <laughs> I'm coming with you. No. Why? I can't involve you. This might be dangerous. It's okay, I'm strong. You know how strong I am, right? You were the one who knew how special I was before anyone. Just one year ago. I noticed something strange when Mizuki came from, from school. Hey, what happened? Who did this to you? Some kids at school. Five or six of them. They said I was a weirdo because I don't live with my mom and daddy. And they teased me. And I got mad and... I told them to go away and they hit me. Tell me their names. I'll teach the little punks a lesson. Date, wait. Adult intervention will not solve this problem. Mizuki has to deal with this problem herself. Mizuki, come on. It's time to train. What? I'm gonna teach you how to kick their asses. <laughs> We're starting right now. Get ready. Why the shrine? The shrine is the perfect place for special training. It is? You feel better when you train in quiet, serene places like this. Sure, whatever. First, I am going to teach you four secrets to becoming stronger. Follow these four rules, and you will acquire power beyond your wildest dreams. Date, are you playing a character or something? I'm not Date. While we're in training, I am master. <laughs> oh. Wait, hold on. The training dummy. The three. Shinto shrine. It looks rather solemn. In a fight, you must first be victorious in your mind. Like thinking I'm not gonna lose? Exactly. I do the same mental preparation before going to the strip club. Before I go in, if I tell myself that they're all out of my league, then they will be. The mental fight has begun the moment I put my hand on the door. Yeah, I see. Actually, no. That's stupid. Like... When you get into a fight, aim for the heart? No, it's the opposite. You must kill your own heart, Mizuki. What do you mean? If you are going to fight, you must suppress any mercy or emotional attachment. If you have even a mote of sympathy within you, it will be impossible to fight to your potential. Do not think of your opponent as a man. Think of them as a target, a punching bag or a board. Just a punching bag. Huh. <laughs> Oops. 
Mizuki, do you know how to win any fight against any opponent? Um, don't get in a fight in the first place? That is a respectable answer. But no, the way to win any fight is this. Hit them first, and hit them hard enough to finish them. I kinda get it, but... Of course, I'm not saying that's how you should behave. <laughs> But thinking about this will make a big difference in a real fight. Yeah, okay, I get it, but... Seriously, Date, are you like acting or something? <laughs> Not Date, Master. What? Why? The best training you could ever have is to be mindful during your everyday life. Diet and exercise form a strong body. And if you are always maturing intellectually and emotionally, you will always be able to anticipate your enemy's first move. I get it. But you're so messy. Does that mean you can't fight? <laughs> Hark. The blowing of the wind through the trees. You can't just say something cool to avoid my question. Anyway, practice these four truths, and you will get stronger. This sounds like a scam. <laughs> Believe in me. If you do as I say, you'll be thanking me in time. Are you sure? Right, how about we do a baseline test? Show me what you've got. Huh? How? Well, let's see. How about you throw a punch? I can guess your strength from that. If you say so, I'll give it a shot. First, close your eyes and concentrate. Like this? Exactly. Then, punch forward. Hey! What? Huh? <laughs> How is that? Um. Hey, by the way, did you swing back at those bullies? No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> there were a bunch of them. I didn't think I could. I see. She doesn't know her own strength. I suppose not. Mizuki, let's just say I think you should be more confident in yourself. Really? But never ever strike your master. That is a must. <laughs> My god. <laughs> yeah, you're right. In fact, you're so strong you scare me sometimes. Well then? No, I can't take you with me. Why not? Because I took responsibility for you. I promised Renju I can't put you in danger. That's not fair. Bringing up daddy. Iris and Ota feel the same way. They don't want you hurt either. You have to understand, Mizuki. If I need your help, I'll let you know. When the time comes. Really? Yes. Promise? I promise. Let's go, Iva. Where to? Before we reach HQ, let's summarize our investigation so far. <laughs> Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. True. But... She might not remember. Correct. There is only circumstantial evidence linking So Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. 
So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, Yakuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Likely because you haven't had a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been this busy. If my body were made of flesh, I would offer my lap as a pillow. What? You can't say something like that out of the blue. God, now it's awkward. <laughs> God damn it. There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. 8 is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. <sighs> if we're not going to a base after all. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Boss got the right to business after introducing herself. I don't know why, but Ota seemed almost happy to answer. Maybe it was the drugs, maybe it was the high from surviving a life or death situation. Or maybe it was because he saved Iris. Yeah, sure. Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. 
Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Ojo's body temperature is rising. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. <laughs> I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Oh yeah, you hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... <laughs> I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. <laughs> Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. That's... <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... something happened after. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Oh, you surprised me. I'm more surprised than you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. <laughs> After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. 
but consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? I took the chocolate out of my pocket and showed it to Ota. Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. <laughs> Absolutely. You mean after... hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. Mm -hmm. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police? I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. <laughs> but that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? Oh, Jesus I don't Christ. believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. <sighs> Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. <laughs> but you can still get information. Oh, we're gonna sink inside his that. head.
Okay then. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please do not go over it. I'm gonna try and take the problem, as well, but I guess but never mind. Are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But <laughs> it's fine. Just get it done. <laughs> Good enough for me. Please take me with you. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. <laughs> Sorry, we can't have Pat. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. <laughs> why is it? What? Why? Why is this? Is this the cold storage warehouse? Why is there something in Seems this place? To be. Not a manga cafe or an otaku shop. <laughs> no, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. <laughs> Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call. The earth cries out! The crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! Yeah! What the? I will protect Tessa! Uh, is this from the stream we saw earlier? <laughs> this is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. <laughs> Alright, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium skin! Activate! Okay. Save Iris, save the world. Sinking in the swain. Curse you, polar bear! I will vanquish you! But if I rush in, I'll slip on the ice and fall! Like this. exactly but the knowledge you gained might be useful I did not want to use my local storage space for this <laughs> the ice on the floor is slick and we punch it this is for Dante this is for Dante this is for Dante what did the ice do to me <laughs> Those who don't fight won't survive! I guess it works then. Nice.
him. He's too strong. It sucks. But this is war after all. Tessa, may the glory of victory be yours. It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. I'm gonna save just in case. Shining light escort into the green shelf, the red shelf. Touched the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. I rubbed it vigorously, but nothing happened. But looking closely, there is something. What? A plate attached to the shelf. Is happening. I was only using 92% of my power. That's basically 100%. <laughs> well, I guess. Attached to but then, something strange happened. What's happening? I should have oh, that's told right. it immediately. who has to help him we have to make hero of justice Ota fight back and look cool doing it under the king as it moved the wooden you box have three minutes Date. with the fork maybe a forklift What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual <laughs> has been destroyed. All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Well, at least I saved beforehand. <laughs> because it fucking crashed again. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, this game, man. Why? It likes crashing a lot. Honestly. A fucking lot. Do, 
Du, 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 du. Should be this one. I could do the different thing, but I'm gonna do the same thing. A plate attached to the sh the cold. What's happening? Oh, that's bright. What is that? But also this knife that the polar bear is holding. Is the one from uh, We're out of options. from Hi Mayumi, right? Tessa. If this was the next time. No. So he said. I'm the. We have to. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. A forklift? What? Sorty. This is your role in this lousy oak. All systems green. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift! Sorty! Hey, forklift! Fork over that weapon now! Okay. I... I can't stand. I'm weak. Did he really help Iris like that? <laughs> we have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up! <laughs> uh, brave hero disarmed the foe. Bruh. You have three minutes, Dante. Ota is still down. will feel the worth of Iris's peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. <laughs> I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa. Awaken the soul. Well then. <laughs> For what I acquired, Swain, my hero. Okay. Different Monday, 
Chick AI. Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I did not. <laughs> temper, temper. <laughs> Whatever. God. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... Read out my pocket and showed him. The Hodoroki Man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. Naomi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I I'm not. Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse, but you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not. Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused and then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe, just maybe, mom hired someone to kill Tessa and she gave them that kitchen knife. I don't know. I thought of it that way. <laughs> Like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Because... The Matsushita's van was stolen so, from the parking lot of the Femista while Iris was in her car. Implicate Ota. Oh. Okay. That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 8.12, which was about 100 yards away, Mayumi bought the Otoroki Man chocolate. She entered the 8.12 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. 
That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. What? Hey, w wait a minute! Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita, but I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Hmm? I did it. I did everything. <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> Day 5 Tuesday, it's okay, eh? Okay then, dude, <laughs> what is it? I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's yeah. true! I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Yes. <laughs> And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. <laughs> and you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. <laughs> you got to the top of the abyss acting like that. <laughs> I heard that she used to be an actress. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts, she's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. Because I, I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. Well, you were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes! I, I stabbed him! <laughs> with the knife I brought from home. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. It's more like... muscle memory. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. I picked them out of the garbage. Which garbage? I, I don't remember. It's true, I planned the whole thing. What do you know about the Cyclops Killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops Killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume, 
They are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Shoko and Renju? Yes, I killed them. <laughs> Isn't Renju Okira the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter! The bonds of matrimony are eternal! In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there! Well... I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is gonna work? A memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. I am not lying! You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying! I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half! Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. <laughs> I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sink with her. Another sink right away? Oh my god. Hopefully this doesn't take forever, I guess. We'll Tutor, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well... Uh, what happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. Yesterday's sync... Well, suffice to say, uh, Ota and Date were... not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. <laughs> because we are not doing the sync after How all. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours. At least. You've got eight. But that's impossible. So we can't sync yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date. I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. I have put some pewter now. <laughs> pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. <laughs> but you said eight. <laughs> Please, you have to give me at least eight. That pewter. Always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? <laughs> hey! This is a hostile work environment! <laughs> God. Uh. Oh. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? 
Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. It's Ota. The why would it Ota? has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Possible. Why? Uh. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the Polar Bear. That was just a dream. Bear. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. <laughs> Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What the? What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. Bro, what? The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Uh. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then, they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the True same enough, time. True enough, I suppose, yeah. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. But that's why she pulled why out she her eye and had Ota them? stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Once you remove the improbable, whatever remains, no matter how. No, wait. Once you remove the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. But also, killer. that doesn't mean that this is the truth Shoko here. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. 
Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic, or even psychotic. We can't rule anything out. Mom! You said you were gonna clear her! Why? What? <laughs> what? I'd be okay. I got stabbed by a serial killer. Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> so worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. <laughs> of course I am. That's my mom. What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way! Tessa... had her eye... She could have pulled it out herself. Or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal! That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you faked something, would it, Ota? You... <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but... Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day, and he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor, 
They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. And they bought me a PC, and idol concert tickets. I had it good, but we were drowning in debt. Oh shit. There's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university, but right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah, he had a heart attack. From overwork. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow, a writer. Well, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever, I'll always support you, Ota. Yeah, how do you guess? It was really just a few texts back and forth, but I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But it's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel, not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. Not long after I quit college, mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already! Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse. 
and worse. <laughs> What's that picture? I'll well, turn the photo frame to me so I could see. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to mom and dad, and they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything, but dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. But I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. <laughs> Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. <laughs> Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. Oh, man. <sighs> Understood. Oh, God. We'll just go there. We'll just go there for now. Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Okay, well. Oh. Okay then. Okay. That's it for today. <laughs> oh my god.